Hey y'all, welcome back to my second daily vlog of the bus build. Don't mind this mushroom on my head. You've seen it before, but this time she's extra floofy. And that's because I have a whole afro underneath here. So today I have only one thing I wanna get done today and I'm working on the side door that I'll be cutting into the side of the school bus. Okay, so this is what we're working with today. I have these two by tens, a two by two, a two by four, and the trim ring for the window that will be going in the side door. And if you don't know, I'm cutting a door. Oh yeah, y'all wouldn't know because this is YouTube, not TikTok. Okay, long story short, I'm cutting a side door in the side of my bus so that I have access to the outside directly across my bathroom. On top of this, I want my door to have a floor to ceiling window because who doesn't dream of floor to ceiling windows in their home? I do, and I can make it happen. So that's exactly what we're gonna do today. Okay, so basically I have my trim ring, my two by tens, the two by fours, two by two, and I'm gonna start creating a door shape so that I can trace the trim ring and know where to cut with the jigsaw. Now I have already cut out each of these pieces to the correct dimension that they need to be so that they fit into the hole that I'll be cutting on the side of the door. Sorry if you hear a bunch of noise, I am no professional. I am no professional, just a girl filming her school bus conversion. So I need to get this door square. Okay, so this is the framing we're working with. I have the two by four over here, the two by two over there. The reason they're uneven is because one side needs to be a little bit wider so that I can fit a lock on it to make sure that the door is secure and safe. Then at the top, the two by 10 and the two by 10 down here is what I'll be tracing that curve onto the door. I came up with this idea because plywood prices right now are insane. $75 for one sheet of three by four plywood couldn't have been me. It wasn't gonna be me. So I got this two by 10, two by two, two by four. Count how many times I'm gonna say that in this video. And I'm just going to create the shape with that, with my jigsaw. So the two by four and the two by 10, they won't need any cutting. Those will be fine. But as you can see, when I place the trim ring on top of the little frame that I've created, all I need to do is trace the curves out and this straight line into the two by 10 up here and down there. And then boom, I have a door. Okay, maybe not a full door yet, but I'm headed in the right direction. Once I cut the traces and then piece it all together, I will bring everything to the bus. I will need to prime and paint this wood once it's all cut. And so this is just regular 2x10s, 2x4s, 2x2s. It is not treated, nothing. So half of this wood will be exposed to the outdoor elements and the other half will be exposed to me. So that's why I didn't go with treated wood because half of the door will be on the inside. So instead I'm going to seal it all up for the outdoors with some paint. And then once I finish painting that, that is when I can actually piece the door together and then start to install the window into the door. Don't know if I'm gonna get to all that today because it is about two, three o'clock right now, but fingers crossed, you never know. Let's get started. So since this wood hasn't actually been pieced together yet, I have some duct tape that I'm just going to use so that I can secure it into one shape. I make sure everything is square, ready to go, and that's when I can begin tracing the trim ring onto the wood and making the cuts. I know I know it's, it's right wrong. Okay, so now that that has been all squared up, ready to go, I have my duct tape. Just going to start taping. Temporary fix, but we'll do the job. Or maybe it won't do the job, who knows? And if you're wondering where the bus is, we will be heading out to the bus later. Um, right now I have a doctor's appointment after this, so I'm trying to cut this stuff up real fast before I go to my doctor's appointment. Then for my doctor's appointment, I will go straight to the bus and get working. I'm like super excited for this project. My mom doesn't even know I'm doing this. My dad accidentally found out. Not accidentally, really. He just asked, but I would have preferred if he didn't <laughs> to save him peace of mind. But hey, what's done is done. Um, I could have done this project for a while now, but my phone was really full on storage, which is why I haven't been posting on YouTube lately. And... I don't know, this is just like a really exciting project to me. The last thing I would want is to not capture it on camera. So I'm just about finished taping up this, these two by fours, two by twos, and two by tens. I just wanna make sure it's all good to go. 
before I start tasting. Okay y'all, this duct tape is as good as it's going to get. I have my trim ring and now I need to put this on the right way so that I can start tracing. Okay, so I have laid the trim ring down. I might have run into a little problem. I thought the two by two would be wide enough for the trim ring and the actual window to be able to sandwich into. But as you can see right there, I don't know what. It just looks like there might be too much of a gapping. Let's check the other side. No, the other side seems good. What, what is it? Why is this happening? Okay, false alarm. The trim ring, the two by twos and the two by fours might be good to go. And if not, I have some two by threes right there that I could easily replace this two by two with if need be, but I think it's safe to start tracing. So I'm gonna take a few measurements, make sure everything's fine, and then boom, Bob's my uncle. Okay, I am getting a little frustrated. I'm not sure if this little contraption I've made is as square as I thought it was originally. As you can see, everything is fine. Everything lines up, bada bing, bada boom. There's a gap. Oh, can you even see it? There's a fat gap there. Maybe I just need to move this over. Is that it? Was that the problem? Okay, I'm starting to make things harder for myself. I think I'm just starting to get nervous because, honestly, why am I nervous? I have a whole bunch of scrap two by fours, two by twos, two by threes, two by sixes. I have scraps for days. I can mess this up if I need to. The biggest thing I don't wanna mess up is a two by 10 because that bad boy cost me like $20. I do have one extra piece of a two by 10 I could use if something does go wrong, but, we're aiming for nothing going wrong. So, okay, I think I'm just like psyching myself out. I watched so many YouTube videos on how to do this. Everything seemed pretty straightforward, but no one really specifically said how to trace the trim ring. Because for the longest time, I was thinking I had to trace that part right there, but it's actually this part. I have to trace it underneath from the outside like that, not like this. Okay, frustrations aside, we're doing this. Whether it turns out good or not, I have room to spare, so let's go. I need my measuring tape to make sure everything goes accordingly. This is where I get confused. Like, what am I supposed to measure? Okay, this seems about right. Like, I like this, so I'm gonna trace it right here just a temporary trace so I can measure how I like it gotta make sure it's square whatever that means got four and a half okay so what I just did to make my life so much easier I did a little bit of basic math that I'll probably pause right here to explain I, I didn't have to pause editing Cindy would pause me I don't know why I did that anyways yeah, I don't know what you were thinking either, but that's okay because it's editing Cindy here and I'm going to show you the simple math I did to center my trim ring onto my door frame. First things first, I needed to determine how long the window trim was. Once I figured out it was 49 inches, then I moved on to the hole of the door frame that it would be fitting in. That was 40 and a half inches long. And I took those two numbers and I subtracted 40 and a half by 49 and got eight and a half. I then divided eight and a half by two to determine that both ends of the trim ring need to be 4.25 inches from the top and bottom and so then i begin to trace now i'll be able to place this square hopefully because i think before it was just so uneven and that's why things weren't turning out the way it needed to now that i have that matching up with that over here should match up over on this line Magic! Math is magic. Okay, so now I'm shifting this over here so that everything lines up. Everything lines up over there. Oh my goodness. Okay, that worked out so much better. There are no more of those gaping lines. I wish there was a way I could, I could just get this to stay. Like, don't move anymore. How can I do that? <laughs> I wish you were here with me. What should I do? I feel like if I make any sudden movements, it's all gonna go wrong. So what I'm going to do is just start tracing. So if it does move, I'll put it back in its rightful spot. Everything's 
everything's fine. We're fine. It shifted a little, but that's why I did what I did because everything is still good to go. So now that I know where this is, you can see right here that line is the four and one fourth of an inch line that I drew straight across. And then on the inside is where I started tracing just in case if this moves again, which it has, I can put it right where it needs to go. Okay, y'all bear with me with these angles. I'm really trying to figure out how to set the camera up so that y'all can see what I'm doing while also kind of seeing me. It's a work in progress, but I don't have time to figure that out now. So um, I'm good to start tracing this line back here, which is actually where I will be cutting. So fingers crossed, all goes well. I need to I need to put like weights or something so that this doesn't move. Maybe this two by six will help. So I just added that two by six behind me. Need to double check to make sure everything still lines up. Now I can begin tracing. Okay, so I just finished tracing. And that two by six that I put there was a great idea. I should have done that from the start. I'm super excited. Gonna start lifting this off so I can see the trace that I'm working with. Ooh, you see those dark lines? That was a good pencil. I think that was one of my old art pencils. But yeah, you can see where I'm going to have to get the jigsaw and start cutting. You see the darkest line is what I'll be following. I was worried about the duct tape for a second. I thought it wouldn't, you know, transfer, but it actually showed up on the tape the best. And I also want to show y'all how I know this is going to work out just fine. There's a little bit of a gap right here where I'll be cutting to right here. And like in this area will probably just be like space. Maybe I can fill it with spray foam or something. But this is basically like a perfect lineup as perfect as it's going to get for the window like the window is going to be in this hole if that makes sense of course i know it doesn't make sense but are you here to learn or are you here to watch school bus conversion be built from the ground up probably both okay i am excited i feel like the hard part is over with it's not the hard part is actually not here now i need to get my jigsaw okay okay so I have my first two by four. I'm starting to get a little nervous. I don't know if I should drill holes like in the corners. That's what I see people do. I'm not trying to skip a step, but I also can't lie. I am kind of a little lazy. Oh man, this, this is it. <laughs> this is what I've been waiting for. Once I cut these, then I can take them to the bus, prime them, paint them, and put it all together. It sounds so much easier said than done. Okay, <laughs> Okay, so I am going to drill a hole, but the drill bits that I could use that are smaller are at the bus, and I'm at home right now. So I'm using this half-inch drill bit that I'm just going to put on the corners. I feel like it's fine. Once I get these camera angles down, Pootie Pod, Mr. Beast, I'm coming for y'all. <laughs> I'm coming for y'all. Okay, we got my half-inch drill bit. Let's go. I'm gonna put on my mask too, cause this stuff loves to kick back in my face. Yeah, that's good enough. It's not where I wanted it to be. This is the line that I'll be, you know, following, but I can always just take the jigsaw from there and go. Okay, swapping out the drill for the jigsaw. My money don't jiggle jiggle, it folds. So far, it's okay. It's not perfect. My money don't jiggle jiggle. It folds. So far, so good, y'all. So far, so good. Aww. <laughs> I'm gonna show y'all. I'm gonna show y'all. Look how cute she is. Okay, you see I messed up a little there, a little crooked there. But for the most part, everything's going fine. So now I'm going to tackle right here. 
Okay, so pretty much the hard part is over. I got the curves. Now it's just a straight line, which should be done in three, two, one.